and welcome back to Affordable Optics and Rifle Reviews. Today we're going to be reviewing a discontinued Bushnell Trophy 4 to 12 by 40 rifle scope. This one uh, retails, well the last time I could find a price on it, it shows $156 US. My friend who lent this one to me says he paid three to $400 Canadian. Regardless, this one's discontinued, you can't buy it off the shelf anymore. Consider this a review if you find one of these used. Now this is the old style, so it has the main tube which is kind of one piece, and then it looks like they glued this, um, the windage and elevation turret uh, module on it. So there might be a very good reason why they don't do this anymore, and you guys are going to find that out today. Now regardless, we're going to be reviewing this optic on the following criteria. We're going to be looking at, is it accurate? Uh, does it survive recoil? The glass quality, you guys are going to see for yourselves at 357 meters how clear it is. We're going to look at the focus parallax, the turrets. So we're going to be using boxed bench precision's targets in order to uh, do the tracking with this one. It's actually really handy when you're, when you're doing this type of tests. We're going to see if it can do a box test, see how much internal adjustment it has if the tracking is correct. We'll also see if the point of impact changes with the magnification. We're gonna, next, we're gonna look at the eye relief, the reticle, which is just a basic, I think Bushnell calls it the duplex. Not quite sure. And then the lastly, the warranty. So this one should be covered under the ironclad warranty. Regardless, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Let's get to the range. Doing pretty good so far. Not bad, not bad. Put a couple more rounds in there. Out of all my rifles, I think this 223 is by far my favorite. Always gives me pretty good groups. Obviously there's more on my end to do. We'll see that when we get there. Eh, gonna do like two clicks up. How about that? Let's put it on the 308 now. It's a good start. Gotta work on that. Not doing too bad. I can probably do a little better. That's pretty weird. Time to check our tension. Okay, let's 
so it looks like we're still good. That's that's pretty odd though. That's really odd, guys. <laughs> it looks like our point of impact shifted significantly. Now, mind you, I, some of the air was mine originally, but that's a clear and obvious point of impact shift just by a couple shots on a 308. Hmm, not good. Let's keep going anyway. What the heck is that? <laughs> That's nuts. I don't even know what to tell you guys. That's ridiculous. Uh, we're gonna keep giving it a few more. Um, I don't know what this is all about. I mean, I was really just gonna stop with the second group. But shit, I mean, this is... Those groups are good, though. You guys can't say squat on those groups. Those are good groups. Damn, that's a good group, but holy crap, what is going on? I don't even know what to tell you guys. Scope is not, I mean, it's holding at zero now, but it. Okay, I mean, I'm gonna stop it here, but that's not good. And we're back from the range. So what did you guys think about those results? Honestly, for accuracy, we are gonna need to give it a five out of five. However, for recoil, since that's where the point of impact did shift, that's where it's going to lose points. So we're gonna give it a one out of five for recoil. Uh, keep in mind that not every model like this would die on a 308, so it, it's probably just a defect. Regardless, this is the review and that's what it is. So for glass quality, now I've been looking through this optic in optimal conditions, so really nice bright day, and also where there's a bit of overcast. It's, it's actually quite a difference. So on a really bright day, the glass quality is quite surprising. I'm looking at up to 400 meters and I'm like, Wow, I can read my neighbor's mailbox letters. That's nice. Now, on an overcast day, I'm limited to, I can't read them anyway. So uh, keep that in mind. Regardless, have a look for yourselves at 357 meters. And this is for magnification. And this is 12. This is the Bushnell Trophy. So for glass quality, I am gonna be giving this a four out of five. Just remember what I mentioned earlier. So for the Focus Parallax, well, it functions as it should. It's got all the numbers and indicators and it actually matches, so that's great. Uh, next, we have the turrets. Um, these, they feel, they're small, they're not easy on, I mean, they're, they're kind of made for tiny fingers, which I find quite frustrating. Uh, there's a drawback for me. The, this is a hunting scope, so they are capped. I do not believe they're reservable, although you could technically remove the turret because it's got a little cross screw on that, but there is no indexer on the, uh, on the module itself. So nothing to reference you where your zero is. So uh, we're gonna be testing this optic. We're using box to bench precision's targets in order to do that. We're gonna be doing a box test. We're gonna see if the point of impact changes the magnification and we're gonna see how much internal adjustment it has. Let's test those turrets. All right, so let's start the box test. We're actually gonna go 40 clicks up, which technically is five MOA at 50 meters. Well, technically five MOA down. That's 40 down. Let's go 40 left. And that's 40 left. Let's go 40 up. And that's 40 up. Let's go 40 right. And that's 40. 
Let's see how much windage and elevation adjustment it has. And that's it. And that's it. And that's it. And that's it. All right, let's see if the point of impact changes with the magnification. Now there's a little bit of play in that, uh, in the adjustment. So for the turrets, um, it has very little internal adjustments, or let's just say modest. It has a modest amount of internal adjustment. It survived the box test just fine. There was no point of impact change with the magnification, which is very good, uh, even for a 10, 15 year old scope. I'm gonna give it a four out of five. For the eye relief, uh, the eyepiece is really nice and smooth. Uh, it, it's it's a fairly stiff, but I, I, I like that over being too sloppy, obviously. Uh, the eye relief now, um, if you're at your lowest magnification, you have a good three, I'd say three and a half inches of eye relief. And on the highest magnification, you're a lot closer, you're about at three. So we're gonna give it a two out of five. Uh, for the reticle, uh, it's a simple, basic, dupe, I believe they call it duplex, Something like that. Anyway, it's a simple cross. I'm gonna give it a two out of five. I mean, this is a hunting scope, so it's really down to personal preference. For the warranty. Now, Bushnell has a ironclad warranty, and we're gonna be putting this to the test. Now, obviously this one is defective. I'm gonna be sending it back, and I'm gonna keep you guys updated as to what the outcome is. Check out the comments below, and I'll keep you posted. So if you guys enjoyed this video, consider hitting like, consider hitting subscribe. Um, if you guys have any optics and you're in my area, in the Ottawa area, you can send them to me. I'll keep them within their warranty period. I really don't want to be killing off any of your, your optics if they don't survive the tests, obviously. Uh, and yeah, so, or, and you can even join our Facebook group, Affordable Optics and Rifle Reviews. Thanks for watching and we're out. Mm -hmm.